The Chennai Bridge, the highest railway arch bridge in the world, is located in the Riasi district of Jammu and Kashmir, which spans between Bakal and Kazuri. It stands high above the Chennai River, hence giving it its name. This project was called the Udampur Srinagar Baramula Rail Link project, as this bridge is a part of the railway line from Udampur to Baramula that hooks Jammu with the Kashmir Valley. Its spectacular arch stands far higher than the tip of the Eiffel Tower, about 35 meters high. The Chennai Bridge is the first of its kind of project in India, built under the Ministry of Indian Railways. The idea was born due to the necessity for a connectivity link between India and Kashmir for transporting goods and traveling locals. The project commenced in August 2004 and was planned to be completed by 2009. The construction was stopped midway due to alignment and stability concerns. It was restarted after proper scrutinization and base support was put to rest by November 2017. It was followed by the construction of the Central Arch and was meant to be concluded by December 2021. However, the construction period was delayed by a few months. After its continuation, the arch was completed in April 2021, while the bridge was finally completed in August 2022 and inaugurated in the same month. How was this magnificent infrastructure constructed in India without previous experience with such projects? If you want to know the exciting details about the Chennai Bridge, keep watching the video. Design Details After much consideration, the Chennai Bridge was designed as a large single arch steel bridge with approach viaducts on both ends. This steel and concrete bridge have an incredible height of 359 meters or 1,178 feet stretching 1,315 meters or 4,314 feet. The trust arch runs for 480 meters, 157 feet, and consists of viaducts on either side at 650 meters, 2,130 feet. It's built as a two-ribbed arch, including 17 spans in total, with the main span consisting of two 36-meter approach spans. The two 100-meter high shafts support the structure through cables. The bridge arch comprises steel boxes filled with concrete to ensure the bridge's stability. The arch alone weighs 10,619 metric tons. India was not equipped for such a massive project. Therefore, the architects had no guidelines or layouts available. Blueprints were based solely on previous information and experiences from similar projects worldwide. The final result depicts the skills and proficiency of Indian engineers. About 60 to 70 percent of the workforce involved was local. BS 5400, code for designing steel, concrete, and composite bridges, was considered for instructions and directions during construction. The parabolic arch portrays a technical excellence, but the two foundations were a primary challenging task. It had to be toughened with specialized soil-slash-rock in the young Himalayan region. The bridge has consumed up to 30,350 tons of steel, of which 10,620 tons were utilized to build the arch and 14,500 tons for the deck. The landscape of this railway is mountainous and passes through tunnels and bridges. Golden Joint Both ends of the Chennai Bridge are connected with the help of HSFG, i.e. High Strength Friction Grip Bolts. Civil engineers have given this connecting point in the center of the arch the name Golden Arch by civil engineers. The Golden Joint was commemorated on 13th of August with the workers hoisting the Indian tri-color flag with pride. A quick reminder before we further continue our discussion on this topic. If you found this video entertaining and useful, consider subscribing as we frequently upload such informative and educational videos. Let's continue. Challenges faced during construction. The engineers and architects faced particular challenges. The most prominent one among others was the crossing of the deep ravine of the Chenab River near Salal Hydro Power Dam by the Chenab Bridge. It was tricky not to disturb or halt the flow of the river. Approach roads were built to reach the foundations of the bridge. The bridge's deck is on a transition curve with a changing radius. The gradual change alignment doesn't allow construction in one attempt, but rather in stages. Chenab River Valley often encounters high wind pressure that poses a threat to the steadiness of the bridge. Also, the temperature does not make it any easier for the workforce to execute their project. For that reason, steel was considered the building material to resist the dangers of wind pressure and temperature. The bridge can withstand a wind pressure of over 266 km an hour. This unparalleled quality adds another first to its credit. Also, the steel can bear the temperature range of negative 10 degrees Celsius to 40 degrees Celsius. 
The Norway-based Force Technology Laboratory performed several wind tunnel tests to study the impact of static force coefficient, wind speed, and gust buffeting. The seismic nature of the project zone also played a significant role in planning the design. The bridge is painted with corrosion-resistant paint that could last up to 15 years. Security was also taken into deliberation during the designing phase. Unfortunately, Jammu and Kashmir region often becomes the target of terrorist attacks. Hence, the bridge is made with special blast-proof steel to ensure its safety. The concrete pillars are built to cope with explosions and earthquakes of high magnitudes. It's designed to stand earthquakes forces corresponding to Zone D, for which about 30,000 MTH steel was utilized. An online monitoring system and warning systems are installed on the bridge to secure the trains and their passengers in tough times. This signaling system is programmed to stop the trains from crossing the bridge if the current speed is around 90 kph. Contractors involved in construction The bridge's deck is partially straight, partially curved, so the alignment plays a significant role in its intricacy. For the first time in India, a bridge has been constructed with a curved transition and longitudinal gradient, Amberg Engineering was handed over the task of alignment. A joint venture of AFCON's infrastructure, ultra construction and engineering company of South Korea and VSL India was delegated to design and construct this monumental bridge in 2004. WSP Group, based in Finland, and Leonhard Andra, Germany, was given the project consultation. VCE Consult ZT GmbH mapped out the towers of the bridge. Axel Nobel was allocated as the painting partner of the project. The software was used for structural detailing called Tecla. AECOM provided technical counseling and monitoring assistance. They facilitated engineering services, proof checking the blueprints, planning, and consulting. Possibility of challenges in the future. Though the bridge stands in all its glory, it isn't immune to any challenges and complications in the future. Some of the challenges that can be envisioned include high wind pressures and seismic activities, security issues as it could be viewed as a battlefield by terrorists, periodic painting during its service life, and avoidance of accidents as restoration work at that height would be a difficult task. Appropriate technology and equipment should be at the back end as preventive measures. Regular inspections and maintenance are mandatory to avoid all mishaps. This $92 million bridge is meant to have a lifespan of 120 years, which is more than a century. Apart from giving easy access to the country for transportation, it contributes majorly to economic development. Share your thoughts about this glorious infrastructure in the comments. If you learned something new today, make sure to like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to Madewell Finder so that we can keep making such fantastic videos for you. Thank you for watching.